So we come walking around the corner to see the other ones and I see this and it's a lake. So why do people that live on lakes or have swimming pools want decorative water features? Because they're water loving people. Right. Said so you guys start about an hour ago. It looks like you're pretty much close here. <laughs> you got a little smell to it too. So I think these fish were getting busy in here within the last 24 hours or so. And it is uh, springtime in Memphis. So that could happen. So, so you just got a micro waterfalls going in here. You got a skimmer over on this side. You're going to get it rocked in. And when did you start this project? We started ripping it out yesterday. Started building it today. And uh, will you finish it tomorrow? Yeah, it should be finished by morning. <laughs> I also have uh, African Grey. Does it speak? Yeah, uh, the African Grey speak a lot. Do they speak English or Vietnamese? I uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two ponds and a pondless. Yes. I'm out here in the Memphis area with Bubba Hogan, and we are touring some of his ponds. And look at all of these fish. Hey, how you doing? So I'm the pond guy, Greg. Hi. I think I met you on YouTube, isn't it? Well, if you met me on YouTube, I'd like to hear that. Yes, I am on YouTube a lot. I put my face everywhere. So what's the story here since you've got three water features, I hear? How did you end up finding Bubba? And what is it that appeals to have three water features? His brother, back in the day. David? Fred. David. Fred, okay. They did a fantastic job on all of the water features. And we love it. That is a lot of fish. <laughs> so a pond this big, you might want to put a wetland filter on it. So you got a biofalls up there, Bubba, but if you actually took that biofalls out, put an upflow wetland filter, we can get this water crystal clear because obviously you like to feed your fish. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah I would just replace the biofalls with a wetland filter because that's a big pond and in a mostly full sun area. All right, so this is the first water feature right in the front of the house. Where's the other two? Right, okay. So we come walking around the corner to see the other ones and I see this and it's a lake. So why do people that live on lakes or have swimming pools want decorative water features? Because they're water loving people. Right. As cool as that lake is, it makes no sound, but yet right here, you got the sound of a waterfalls, a stack slate urn. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Puppies. Got the fire element in here. I love the little bridge. And so this pond, you can see the water quality is much better than the other one. Frog just jumped in because there's not as many fish. It's got more shade. It's the exact same filter. It's about the same size, but it gets more shade and there's not as many fish. And you have an additional filtration just with this whole stream right in here. So which came first, the water feature in the front or the back? Okay, the front was the first one, then this one was the back one. I really love the setting here. So you got the two chairs set up right there, and you got decorative aquascape pond in the foreground, and you got the lake in the background. That's about as good as it gets. And there's a scarecrow right there. This is a great product to have because it's a motion controlled sensor. So if a heron were to come from that lake and land here, that scarecrow, that water control jet would hit them because it's a motion control. So let's get this going off. And that would scare away a heron. All right, so we saw the front yard pond. We saw the backyard pond. We saw the backyard lake. Where's the third water feature? Around the side of the All right. Walk that way on the path, even though I think he's got a walking path. This way? 
No, it's back around the right. The birds are up there to the left. Oh, you got birds? What kind of birds do you have, John? I have uh, some uh, Kanye. I also have uh, African Grey. Does it speak? Yeah, the African Grey speak a lot. Do they speak English or Vietnamese? Uh, both. <laughs> yeah, they just pick up randomly. It's okay, I like dogs. <laughs> that is one excited dog. So this is where the birds are in this beautiful sunroom? Yes, sir. We're having them in here. Oh, wow. Whoa. It's okay, it's okay. Aww. Aww. They got a nice view out here. <laughs> How long have you had birds? I have about uh, nine years now. Okay. That's a pineapple uh, color. Uh, Beautiful. She's friendly. What a cool setup you have. Aww. <laughs> so you just wanted the sound of water next to the fire pit when they have fires, huh? Yeah. Look at that. On this waterfall. People that love water, love water. Supernatural. Imagine having a fire with that waterfall and this is a backdrop. Not bad. Good job, Bubba. All right, so we're surprising the guys, huh? Yeah. We'll see if they're on their phones or we're actually working. I hope they're actually working. <laughs> this is a rebuild? Yeah, rebuild. Tear out this morning and uh, rebuild it. You even got a nice little tent there to stay dry. Wow, look at this. Did you guys hear us pull it in? Put your phones down. Look at that, picking up a heavy rock. So did you guys start about an hour ago? It looks like you're pretty much close here. <laughs> How's everybody doing? doing, good, doing good. Good. I like the beard, dude. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Pond. Look, <laughs> nice to meet you too. Who, who else we got here? My name's Darian. Darian? Ryder. Okay, so Ryder, Darian, Jesse? Yes, sir. Eli. Oh, I, I know Eli. I got a haircut and shaved his beard. Wait, I thought you said Eli didn't lift heavy rocks. That's the nephew, Eli, there. Big Ohio State Buckeye fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, SEC, man. Okay, so Eli, tell us what we got going on here today. We're building this upon here. Well, there was something here before, right? It was uh, basically the same shape and all, but we tore it out. Pretty rough looking. There's the uh, old pond over there sitting over there. A homeowner special, Eli? Yeah, homeowner special. So, so you just got a micro waterfalls going in here. You got a skimmer over on this side. You're going to get it rocked in. And when did you start this project? We started ripping it out yesterday. Started building it today. And uh, will you finish it tomorrow? Yeah, should be finished by morning. Okay, so three-day job. You like this work? How long have you been doing this? About a year now. Okay, good for you. This is nice. So if you guys are interested in seeing how the construction is upon goes, check out the Team Aquascape videos because we show the construction. Of course, I'm the lifestyle videos. And if you want the science, check out Ed the Pond Professor. And Bubba, is this typically your job when you come to the project? I typically can only come to a project, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, back in the day, Bubba used to lift rocks, yeah, I think. They were, they were bigger back then. <laughs> ah, of course. <laughs> well, that was fun dropping in on the guys. I love the young, hardworking guys. And this industry, Aquascape, certified Aquascape contractors, needs more young guys, girls, young people that want careers in this industry. If you're interested in a career in this industry, Aquascape needs you. We are here to help you. Everything that you will ever need to know about ponds is on the Aquascape University. So it's our online. We've got, oh my gosh, over 70 hours of courses on that. I think about 12 courses are free on there. So check out a link below to the Aquascape University to learn how to have a career in this industry so that you too can say, I love my job. All right, Bubba, so we got what, 10, 12 year old pond here? At least 12 years old. Oh, wow. I love the location. So you got water loving people. So many people that have swimming pools also have ponds. And man, this one is filled in. You got some blooming, beautiful Louisiana iris here, this purple, little waterfalls facing the seating area. Once again, I love the creeping jenny and the mosses around the edge that uh, just kind of soften everything up. And then we were looking at this over here, Bubba, it looks like the fish just spawned. That could be if you get a lot of rain, you'll get those little bubbles. It's called protein, but these actually got a little smell to it too. So I think these fish were getting busy in here within the last 24 hours or so, and it is uh, springtime in Memphis. So that could happen. 
But uh, look at the size of these. So been in here for about 15 years, happy, healthy fish. I love how it's tucked right in here, right outside their seating area here. So what would a project like this entail from Dreamscapes? 4,800. Wow, so that's not much. So $5,000 to make a big impact in a small space. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous how it's just fit right in here. And I love how full the landscaping is.